The Cold War was just beginning when in 1949 the Soviet Union shocked the world by exploding their first nuclear bomb. Then, in 1956, while addressing Western leaders, the Soviet leader vowed, we will bury you. One year later, the Soviets launched the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik. The American public was caught completely off guard as a specter of nuclear bombs raining down on our cities from unstoppable intercontinental ballistic missiles was suddenly a clear and present danger. Our nation responded with a program of the highest priority to develop the technology to field a fleet of 41 nuclear-powered submarines. Those submarines would hide beneath the waves carrying intercontinental ballistic missiles. The mission of those submarines was to prevent war by guaranteeing that the Soviets would be faced with unstoppable annihilation should they ever launch a nuclear strike against our homeland. Much of the technology to launch those missiles was developed at Mare Island, and seven of those 41 ballistic missile submarines were built where you are standing. You are looking at the sale of the USS Mariano G. Vallejo, which was the last of the ballistic missile submarines built here and was launched on what was termed Vallejo's Greatest Day. The Mariano G. Vallejo sailed the oceans of the world for 29 years, always ready to launch her deadly weapons within minutes of receipt of the command to do so. This monument is dedicated to those who built and sailed her. The sail rests in the same spot where the submarine was built in the 1960s. The Mariano G. Vallejo conducted 83 deterrence patrols traveling hundreds of thousands of miles before this sail returned here to its place of birth. The nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine fleet succeeded in their mission as no nuclear weapon was ever fired in anger during the Cold War. Stop in the Mare Island Museum to learn more about the Cold War and to see a mock-up of this submarine's control room built with the actual components from this important ship.